television and closed circuit equipment. Once the image is put out by the image intensification unit, we still need a system to display the fluoroscopic image. As we previously discussed, the optical coupling connects the image intensifier to the CCD in a coupling of the two lenses. The camera lens is nearest the TV camera tube, and the objective lens is nearest the II. The signal is converted from a light image at the II to an electronic image going to the TV. Closed circuit television systems transmit the video signal via cables to a set of monitors contained on one line. CCTVs typically have three components, the camera, the camera control unit, and the monitor. There are a few types of TV camera tubes that are responsible for the conversion of light to an electronic image. Viticon, Plumicon, Image Orthicon, and Electron Beam. The Viticon is the most common type, but also possesses the greatest amount of image lag. It's the old-style tube that operates on the basic anode-cathode type system in a vacuum. Light falls on the photocathode and gets converted to electrons, then a tube potential and voltage accelerates the electrons toward a target anode. An electron gun scans the back of the target to produce an image of 525 lines of thousands of dots. The scan rate is 30 frames per second, and each scan is considered a frame. Newer systems can have over a thousand lines, but will not utilize this type of tube. The Plumicon requires the least amount of patient dose to produce the image, and is also an older style type of tube, primarily used in cardiac catheterization. Image Orthicon, a type of Viticon tube, is the largest and most sensitive type of camera tube, and the electron beam type of TV camera tube is synchronized with the TV monitor and is produced by thermionic emission.